really wanna perpetrate, cause this 38 will be designated for all those who hate it like just man, I'm contemplating. Your moves you lose, now your hot you gave me. New moves, more dudes, now the top you made me. Same rules, new food, now the budget made me. Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome back. I'm Van. I'm Georgia. And we are all the LFR crew. Family. Family. And if you're not already with the LFR crew, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. 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 Hit that notification and you'll also see the exclusive Welfare Boy drinks. And it will only be on the market for another week and a half. So go and get y'all some, I'm trying to tell you. And if anybody know, Welfare Boy is who I am and what this whole thing is about. This whole LFR family is about. But either way, we appreciate you clicking play. So thank you so much for all, all of the support. All right, shout out to all my people who rock with Bill Burr. Y'all are awesome. And because of y'all, we're about to check out another one. We're about to check out the joint called How You Know the N-Word is a Coming. I wonder <laughs> what the video's like. What is he going to say? Man, I, I just know it's going to be crazy. And it's on one of um, Shaquille O'Neal's um, comedy shows. So let's check this joint out, guys. And y'all let me know what y'all think. All right? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. It's nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming, <laughs> and it's coming hard. Oh yeah, it's not gonna be pronounced with the A, it's gonna be with the R, and he hit the R, he like stuck the landing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> he looked, he's like, you know what I'll say? Yeah, you know what I'll say? And the next thing you know, he's checking to see if any colors <laughs> are around <laughs> before he's saying it. Funny, oh my God, man. Oh, Jesus. It's going to be with the R, and he hit the R. He, like, stuck the landing. It was like a dismount. Clan members high-fiving in the background, <laughs> like, doing the wave. Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder, like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm waiting for, like, this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word hot potato, just threw it in my lap. Trying to really pass it down to the next white dude. I don't even care who even said it. They're <laughs> like, what? <laughs> What's so funny about this is, you know, if a group of black dudes heard a white dude say it, not only is the white dude who said it going to catch a whole bunch of black dudes, they're going to fight all the white dudes around. Even the ones like down the street, ones walking in a bar, it's going to be a race war. Let's go start a race riot, man. It's going to be riding in the bars. Oh, because, oh, because somebody looked yeah, over their damn like, shoulder. <laughs> people do that man you know it's like dude fill me out first ask some questions do you like to fish have you ever fucked your sister right i start rattling off answers then you go old school you give me a pamphlet you tell me about your militia don't just dive into it that dude was one of the angriest people i ever met i should have known that word was coming because he was just watching terrell right Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you know, those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you. Their eyes are up. You just shut up! You're playing the game! I don't hate Terrell. You know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! I like violence, man. 
I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? Watching people, you know, get attacked by animals. <laughs> Just get blasted in the face or something, you know? Like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know my favorite, like, moment of, the, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched oh, ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely... Oh, you saw it when they was fighting? They was, that was crazy. Oh, my God. That was his favorite moment in the whole season. I mean, I like stuff like that, too. I'm going to be honest with you. I like stuff like that, too. Only because, only because I know that since they're basketball players, it's not going to go too far. Like, some people might get snuck. Some people might, you know, you want to see who's going to go to the fight. You want to see the people that's going to stay away from the fight be, you know, like... Guys, you know what I mean? Our contracts on the line. You know what I mean? We're going to get fired. contracts are never on the line. That contract's never on the line. I'm getting fired from fighting. Man. But it's some people, man, like when Rondo and um, Chris Paul started fighting. Oh, it was some people like, look, don't go out there because we're going to get in trouble. And some people's like, man, so I'm going out there. Nothing. You know what I mean? I'm get in trouble. I'm fine, maybe. Yeah, but stuff like that happens, man. You want to see the superstars... Like, I already know somebody want to punch LeBron James in the face so bad. They're not going to hit LeBron. They, they actually might get fired. They might get fired. They might lose their job. They're going to lose their job. They probably get LeBron. sniped. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, they, they just must be a little. I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan. I loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> by professional athletes. It was fascinating. And I think as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you go into a game, right? You got a little too drunk. You started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? If you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp collection? Like, Did y'all see the power just now go out? It's a thorn. I don't know how this video game is still playing. It's a thunderstorm. I don't even know how this video... That's what I'm just thinking. <laughs> what? How this train still playing? How is that still playing? Like, there's a there's a storm going on, and I know we just now blacked out. Y'all was probably like, man, they black already, so it's not really a big deal. <laughs> probably disappeared. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Then everything came back on. Yeah, that's, that's weird. All right, let's try to get through this joint without hopefully... Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I just want to make sure. Okay, that's still... Okay, that's still rocking and rolling. How'd that even happen? All right, let's go. Let's go. You're awesome! <laughs> You get in the game, you're all drunk. You're like, you suck, buddy! You're a piece of shit! And they're always calling him up. Remember that wizard guy who kept yelling out free chicken sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> he was funny, though. <laughs> he was funny. And when we went to the joint when, um, when Indiana played the Wizards, one of our last games we went to. Yeah. Them guys were so close that they heard everything we were saying to them. So sometimes, man, if they're having a bad day or if they're coming off the bench... And you're fussing at them, <laughs> calling them Go garbage. The bitch. <laughs> Getting the last three seconds. <laughs> they gonna want to whoop your ass. <laughs> they gonna want to beat you up, man. You gotta be careful what you say to these daggone superstars, man. That was funny, man. <laughs> you're a piece of shit. <laughs> and they're always they calling them up. Come on up here. <laughs> oh, come on up here. <laughs> well, they came up there. They been smiling the whole time they see it. They didn't. They kicked the shit out of everybody. It was great. Beating up whole rows of people at once, like. <laughs> <laughs> I loved every second. I love how Ron Artest punched the wrong guy. Wasn't that great? He taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie, like, wow, it's coming right at me. Must be in 3D or something. That was a five foot six inch, 110 pound white dude had an angry six foot ten inch black dude running right at him. That had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. <laughs> right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. And he just stood there. He was like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup. Yeah, I want to say There's no way I can. <laughs> idiot. Don't y'all show him the cup. Oh, man. You, uh, you can only run when you have to fight. You only have two decisions. You can't watch. Hey, man, you can't just watch. You got to put your back to some solid and uh, like a wall or something or a chair and get ready to go or slide yourself up out of there, be ready to go and roll out. 
Oh man. All right. So the, uh, what I learned from this is whenever I see a white man do like this, I know we about to say. He about to say the N word. <laughs> when he gonna look, whenever I see a white man look over his shoulder. I already know what he about to say. If he look over, he like see <laughs> y'all meet eyes. And then he look at me. <laughs> it's on, man. It's on. Did he look at you? Yeah, it's on. Cause I already know what he called me now. Okay, that was funny, man. I want to hear what y'all gotta say per usual in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to do so on your way out the door. I swear to goodness, I don't know how the computers kept going after this. Power outage we just now had. Me either. I don't get it, but you know what I mean? The Lord wanted YouTube to be able to see this reaction. So it's going to happen. Um, so, but thank you for, uh, thank you guys for checking in. Again, guys, I'm Van. I'm Georgia. And we are all the LFR family. We look forward to seeing y'all on the next one, all right? Peace out.